What's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Komodo Free Antivirus. Now, Komodo is a very well-known antivirus. We will take a look at PC Magazine's take on it. If you want to download it, this is the website right here. I will post the link on the description of the video so you can download it. And it is free. And if you you can also get complete antivirus for $29.99 a year. But for now, let's take a look at the basic one. This is what it looks like here. Really easy to use. Um, this is the basic view. If you want the advanced view, you click here and it'll go to the advanced view. Um, before we get started looking into it, let's take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about it. The pros is it's got automatic isolation of unknown programs, which is good. Um, Behavior-based malware detection, advanced security bonus features, and the most important thing is that it's free. The cons about it, it failed against ransomware, uh, the sample that it did. Poor to dismantle scores in our hands-on tests. Mm. No, poor to dismal, my bad. Poor to dismal scores, <laughs> really poor scores in the tests. That's not good. That's going to give it a bad review today. Advanced features, too technical for many users. Independent lab results are sparse. Sparse or sparse, however you say that. On-demand malware scan, the specs here, it's got on-demand malware scan, which we're going to take a look at it here in a bit. On-access malware scan does not have website rating. It has malicious URL blocking. It has phishing protection. Phishing is when they pretend to be a Facebook page when they're not. And you put your login info in there and they get your info. Yeah, it'll protect you against that. Got behavior-based protection, detection. Does not have vulnerability scan, does not have firewall. But this is the free edition, so I really don't uh, expect it to have all these extra stuff. Um... Let's take a look at it again. It just did a scan right now. It didn't find nothing. That was a quick scan. It'll do a quick scan when you first install it. Uh, it's telling me i got to restart the computer here. Okay. Uh, postpone. All right. So when you open it up, guys, um, make sure you turn this on, the HIPS. That's a host-based intrusion prevention system. It's a proactive technology enabling to analyze behavior of running programs and stop any suspicious activity. I don't know why it's off. Turn it on. That way it's on. Uh, it does have a silent mode down here where you can turn it. Uh, it doesn't, it's not showing exactly what it does anymore. But all systems are in silent mode. So basically what that means is uh, nothing will be bugging you. Kind of like the silent mode on your phone. Now let's take a look here. Let's go home. Um, if you go to scan, there's three different kind of scans here. A quick scan, which it does it really fast. A full scan, which I recommend. Always do a full scan. A rating scan which goes into certain parts of your computer. And then a custom scan, if you want to customize in a certain part where you think a virus is in, you could use that too. Let's go ahead and try the full scan. You can also uh, check box, turn off this computer, no threats are found at the end of the scan. You can check mark that computer and it'll, that check box and it'll turn off your computer. We're just gonna send this to the background now. That's what's cool about Komodo, you could just send the scans to the background. It doesn't seem to slow down the computer too much. Uh, it does have unblock application, but come on, uh, how do you know if it's blocked? I don't know. I never had to use something like this. It's kind of weird. Uh, I, I've had applications not want to open. Does that? Con I don't know. That's weird. That's just weird. Oh, if they're op maybe if they're open and they don't want to close, you could probably do it that way. Uh, I'm not sure. All right. If you want to update it, it does not have an auto update because it's the free edition. So you have to manually update it. You click here. It'll check for updates. It'll do it all for you. Boom, done. You hit close. Now you're up to date. Now, this is the cool part about Komodo. You can run virtual. What that means is if you're going to open up a program that you don't trust, you could open it through this run virtual thing. You click choose and run. Then you uh, select the program you want to run. Boom, hit open. And it'll actually open it with a yellow border all around it. And that means it's running it in virtual, which is really cool. So I like that. That is very useful, guys. Very, very useful. I use that all the time um, because I sometimes I download torrents or download certain tools and stuff like that on the Internet. And before I open it, it's good to run on virtual. That way it doesn't open on your actual computer. It runs on a sandbox is what they call it, separate uh, environment. That is badass. I'm going to give a good rating for that 
And that's about it, guys. That's all you can really do. Um, you can change tasks here. Uh, you could reset the container. That's the virtual container. View active processes. You can do all that stuff here. Um, let's take a look at the test results on PC Magazine. They have their own lab where they test everything. Let's see how it did. So the lab results here for Komodo, is, they did one test and they weren't able to come up with a score, which happens sometimes. Um, I don't know why it says NA, but that sucks. I was hoping we could see a test score in there. Let's look at the other one down here. Uh, malware protection tests. Komodo came up with protection score of 6.9 out of 10, which is kind of bad, but keep in mind it's the free edition. Detection rate is 76%, and malicious URL blocking is at 36%. Uh, it's pretty bad. So it did tell us here in, in the top, remember it was saying that, poor to dismal scores in our hands-on test. So it does pretty bad. It does pretty bad. I like the virtual thing on it, but it actually protecting you, it's going to be 50-50. Uh, it is a free edition, guys, but I wouldn't be surprised if the paid version has the same. We will try to review the paid version as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if it has the same type of uh, uh, results. But that's it, guys. We're going to give it a 3 out of 5 um, because it, it does 60% detection rate. That's not bad for a free antivirus. I've seen some that are 2%. That was pretty bad. Uh, so for being a free antivirus program, you're getting you're getting some. It's better than not having nothing, guys. All right. And the reason why I gave it three out of five instead of two is because it's got this tool real good here, the Run Virtual uh, tool, where you can run a program virtually away from your computer, just in case if it is a virus, it doesn't affect you. Pretty good tool. I like that tool. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.